Hey guys, my name is Jamin. This is my channel PC Monkey, where I try to bring you a wide variety of computer do it yourself upgrade and repair videos. In this video, I'm going to show you how to bypass a password locked Microsoft Surface Book computer if you forgot your password or otherwise cannot get by that password. Couple quick things before we start, guys. First, please remember to like, share, and subscribe if this video was helpful. If it did help you out and you want to support the channel a little further, uh, feel free to drop me a super thanks. Even a couple bucks goes a long way to me making the videos and being on hand as much as possible for questions and comments. Second and lastly, a quick shout out to my sponsor, NiceHash. NiceHash is the world's largest hash power marketplace. What that means for you is you can now rent out your computer's unused power to people online mining cryptocurrency and they pay you for that power in Bitcoin. It's a great way to make some money on the side. It's a great way to start dabbling in the world of crypto with no investment. Uh, check out this link above or I'll fill you in more at the end of the video. Now let's get into the project. Okay, so as you can see here, the computer's on. I'm at my login screen. Uh, you've entered an incorrect PIN several times. Try again. So this is a situation where you've either forgotten your password, or in my case, this is a refurbished computer. Uh, the password's not available. So what you're going to want to do, guys, is you're going to want to hold down on the Shift key and then restart the computer. So I'm going to hold down on the Shift button. I'm going to go down here to the right and hit Restart, and then Restart anyway all while holding down the shift key. I'm still holding it down. I haven't let it up yet. So we'll just wait until this thing shuts off. I'm still holding down on the shift key. Now it's restarting. So now you're going to see a screen that looks like this, multiple options. You're going to come down to the bottom left where it says troubleshoot and click on that. So then you're going to see this screen here up top. It says reset this PC. We're going to click on that. And then here's an option for you. Uh, the first one up top, keep my files. The second one, remove everything. So you're going to choose this based on what you want to do. If you want to save your data, your files, obviously you're going to choose that top one. Uh, me, this is a refurbished computer. I, I, I want to delete everything on it. So I'm going to choose this bottom option. Uh, but again, you would choose whichever option you want. So I'm going to hit remove everything. And then cloud download or local reinstall. I'm going to do local. So here's your next option. Kind of the same thing as the first option, but not really without going into a lot of detail. Um, this is a little faster, but it does delete your data. Um, this takes a lot longer, this bottom option, um, but it's a little more secure in how it deletes your data. So I'm, I'm just going to go to uh, just remove my files on top. For the sake of the video, we don't want it taking forever. So um, another thing to keep in mind, guys, keep this computer plugged in when you're doing this. Sometimes this reset can take a long time. Make sure your computer's plugged in. If you lose power during a reset like this, it could damage your operating system. Um, and then you can't reset, you may have to reinstall new. So just make sure your computer's plugged in through this. So this is just double checking that you're ready to reset. I'm going to click reset on the bottom right. And there she goes. Okay, so we're a good portion of the way through. Uh, to get to this point, it took a little less than half an hour. That's not bad. And as you can see here, your computer may restart a few times. So don't be nervous if you see it restarting from this point on. Okay, so now we continue setup. I'm going to select uh, my country here, the United States. I'm going to hit yes in the bottom right. Is this the right keyboard? Yes, it is. Do I want to add a second keyboard? I'm going to hit no uh, or skip down here, bottom right. Let's connect you to a network. Uh, long story short, guys, if you connect to a network at this point, uh, you may be prompted to sign into an account. Um, I don't want to do that. I want the setup to just finish setting up um, and then I'll connect to a network later when I don't have to sign in. So. You can do whatever you want, but I'm just going to go, I don't have internet right now. I'm going, to, I'm going to click on that. It's going to double check with me. Do you really want to do this? Um, you have another option to connect to the internet, bottom right. I'm going to click on the left, continue with limited setup. 
Uh, TNCs, I'm going to hit accept. Who's going to use this device? I'm just going to put PC Monkey. Enter. And then uh, password, I'm, I'm going to skip this for right now and just hit next. Uh, change privacy settings. I usually turn all these off just because I'm weird. I don't like giving people data that they don't buy from me. Uh, so I, I just go through and turn these off. You guys can definitely leave them on. Um, it's just like usage data, diagnostic data, things like that. So I'm, I'm going to shut mine off, hit accept. And now it's just finishing the last part up. Okay, so here you are at your desktop. Uh, the reset is done, password's been bypassed, and you're here at a fresh computer. Um, if you choose the options that I chose, if you chose the option to save files, hopefully they're still there. Another thing you wanna do at this point, guys, is you definitely, if you did what I did, you definitely wanna sign on to a Wi-Fi network. Uh, you wanna start your updates going, your operating system updates, your security updates. Without it, the computer's probably gonna be a little glitchy or slow. Um, so I have a video link up here to take you through the whole process of updating, make sure they're all processed. Uh, but that's something you really wanna do right now. So there you are, you bypass your password, you've gotten into the computer. Uh, please like, share, subscribe if this was helpful. Uh, as mentioned before, a super thanks is always welcome. If you do have any questions, check out the FAQs below first. It could save you some time. If you do need to leave me a question, I do try to get to those a couple times a day at least. And as promised before, a little more on my sponsor, NiceHash. As mentioned before, guys, NiceHash is the world's largest hash power marketplace. What that means for you guys in English is, again, you can take your computer's unused, untapped power and rent it out online to people who mine cryptocurrency. They pay you for that in Bitcoin. It's a great way to start making some side money with no work. It's also a great way to investigate the world of crypto with no real added investment. We've already bought the computer and most of us own computers far more powerful than anything we need for our day-to-day -day operations. So this is a great idea to do, it's easy. Uh, you can check out this link for more information. Leave me a comment below and uh, I look forward to seeing you guys on my next video.